from the project side, sir, what has been your experience listening to these two people? This uh, project size, see, when we are going to be implementing the lane, if the management is saying that, yeah, you are going to be implemented. Yes, I agree. Then when coming to the project manager level, the project manager, if you say the 10 project managers in the 10 projects, the 10 project manager mind level is not in the same. Even though top management is saying to implement the lane, maybe few project managers are willing to do and few project managers are not willing to do. Then if the project managers is also is willing to do, then coming to the site level planning and the execution engineering also not uh, in align with this. What we use this area, HR management support is very, very important for this kind of uh, LPS implementation. As our organization, HR management is the more supportive things because they linked everything in a care. When the top management is saying to do the LPS at site, the project management KRE and site engineer KRE will be there based on the PPC achievement. So every day, every in this uh, what we got uh, output, every engineer's PPC and uh, every project manager performance, every project performance, everything, even regional heads, everybody is having this KRE based on this. So finally, we uh, agreed that this LPS one we will be the organization uh, KRA for this uh, to implement uh, effectively at site level. So that we are uh, doing right now. And we know every day, every month, each engineer uh, performance. We no need to give some more uh, incentives or more de-promoting or whatever. They have their own PPC output chart and we have the WhatsApp group also. We are posting on daily and uh, weekly and everything. So this is what we align. So the HR support, uh, what uh, uh, it's very, very important to every organization when the top management is uh, very uh, willing to implementing the lead at site level. So this is one thing. Yes, uh, we have to move forward uh, in LPS another 10 to 15 years to betterment. I thought in my opinion, in last uh, seven years, in the last three, four years, uh, we are getting clarity about the lead and uh, big room and everything. We have a little bit clarity and still we are learning. So that is also one of the things and the continuous improvements is getting uh, uh, decreasing right now because people are, as I told you, they are not uh, due to the pandemic also, they have financially some prices, so they are not learning process. So again, we have to resume this uh, the learning process through online program or uh, offline program. Now again, another one year to resume that. And also we have the procurement. See, like what we are talking about the construction level, site level. When it is coming to the uh, next level, as uh, Kalyan said, sir, the MEP, like uh, other system contractors, that company and that army is having the different uh, process, different uh, um, uh, system of reportings and everything. They are not coming uh, to our uh, they are not properly uh, collaborating or coordination with us what we have the system so that has to be aligned that is one thing the next would be there now the all the design build projects are right now stemming we are not talking about the construction portal then designers also should know what is lean and what is the requirement of lead so the design and drawings online deliverables these and all it's now i think the bim is the only better tool now we are using this now all the drawings and uh, it's uh, uh, completed before the execution of the work. Right now, we are looking for last two, three more projects like Metro and all. They are already pre-designed for the beams actually. So the design and the drawings and this internet silo functional department like uh, farm work department, machinery department heads and uh, like uh, other quality departments, safety departments, they have the silos. So these silos also it has to be uh, know the uh, what is the site requirement of the link? So first is, I think I have covered, I think. Yeah, so. so this has to be aligned properly. Then only what we are thinking the link, it has to be 100% uh, we can achieve it. That is it's quite challenging. Yes, it's a way forward. Another one or two, three days, uh, three years. We'll see after 10 years, what will be our experience. <laughs> Very good. You brought out a lot of new dimensions uh, from the project experience. I agree. I have also been coaching Godrich Construction 
I found the HR intervention is very, very yeah. useful, very important. So I made them conduct an HR program at the site to for the change of culture. How do you learn to trust people? You know, that's a very, very important point and lean. So I like that. We I think I learned uh, a lot of things uh, yeah. by from the site. One Just to conclude, point. any yeah. particular point you would like yeah. to add? Just uh, one more point uh, to bring up. So in this journey on lean or even in the journey on implementing uh, CPS, last planner system, there will be a maturity level. Right. And it's uh, very difficult. So we, we read case studies from abroad or, you know, how people are benef benefiting from last planner and they might be at a high maturity level. It's very difficult for an organization which is not implementing this to go in one step to a higher maturity level. Mm. So this is a journey. And in some ways, you have to plan milestones on this journey and, you know, target those milestones or the low hanging fruit, as Kalyan mentioned earlier. And this lean is again, all LPS is a journey and we have to plot the map, you know, and plot where the maturity level is and where we are today and what we need to target a few, a year or two from now, reach there and then go for the next target. So keeping this journey in mind is a very, very important way, requirement in planning how to implement you. Very good. You will do two subjects. Actually, I was going to say, I, I fully endorse that HR thing. <clears throat> In fact, recently we started working with the uh, learning and develop LD, uh, learning and development part of Tata projects. So they've said that, you know, we want to create the culture. So it's kind of made as an L&D initiative. But again, with the idea that it eventually will become part of the KRAs of the uh, at least the site engineers and the project managers and people in planning. To, so I think uh, the idea of uh, HR intervention is something we strongly endorse. I think that's our experience as well. So, so Mohan Babu, you'd like to add something finally? I think um, uh, most of the points we have discussed, I think so. Uh, my imp improvement is that the way forward in another uh, way forward from the already we implemented we have uh, some of the uh, some of the points and tools we have to implement like coal plus e, one of the report system it is easily to prepare that then digitalization like uh, mobile apps if it is uh, if it is there it will be used for uh, next uh, site engineer level like whatsapp and uh, swiggy and all they have the very clear tracking and everything so we have to um, digitalization in the uh, uh, report generations so it will be very easy to use so that the engineer can be site engineers and foreman can be used for very see now all the engineers foreman having the smartphone so we don't need to provide anything so the as on this phone is there we have to be make very digitalization so that the uh, everything will uh, come in control maybe so that are the way forward and um, we have to create a more lean champions that is what our the target may be if you are in the 2021 if you are talking about the 2022 you tell me that how many people's lean champion as a uh, competent lean champion is uh, graduated and how many people are uh, implemented at site so when we are talking about the lean champion creation certification or whatever maybe then automatically it will be spread in the indian uh, construction industry so that is one of the things so um, uh, and also I told you earlier, involve the more companies, private limited companies. So like Lean Champion when we are creating, but the Lean Champion will go and work with the, some other companies. So we have to involve more companies, top managements to uh, come and jointly we start our one or two sites. So let us know the practice and the output of the LPS. Then only this will go and be spread all over the India. So now what we are talking about the 10 companies only. So that is also we practice so far. So I am taking about this, this and all it's a way forward what I am uh, as a site level I am thinking. I think uh, thanks for giving this opportunity to join us. Uh, regarding what you said just now, uh, you know this NPTEL initiative what we have made now of teaching and certification in Lean, which can you know spread to a lot of people around the country. You think this will be useful, uh, you know, to create more green champions? Teaching, yes. Teaching, like coaching uh, and yes. teaching. That way, yes. So teaching is okay. What I mean to say, the lean champion to be identified, like uh, myself and like uh, we have to make a group or whatever maybe. The lean champion. How many lean champions are in in, in India, and how many people are practicing? Learnings are uh, it's a totally different. 
So people are coming from learning, lot of learnings are there in online program, everything. And who is practicing at site level, how many lean chambers are alive? This is what my content says. Okay. One so, more practitioner has so, to yeah, come up with So I totally I, support uh, what Mr. Mohan Babu is saying. I think the NPTEL or a, a course like that will teach you terminology, will teach you some concepts. But practices, applying those concepts, learning from it and kind of iterating and fine tuning it for your situation. Right. So, in addition to this NPDL, I think uh, ILC used to have this discussion forums. And today with online, it should be much uh, more, the, you know, facilitating these discussion forums should be easier. And I think people like Mr. Mohan Babu sharing experiences with others right. as we develop a larger base. I think that would be the forum, uh, you know, that would be the kind of system we need to be able to share actually practitioners' ideas and take this forward. The right. teaching will form a base, an important base, but it would be more at a concept and terminology level. You know, Bonbob with ILC, we have started a lean community, uh, you know, uh, right. uh, knowledge sharing uh, platform. We had only one meeting so far. We plan to have more such sessions. So, you know, people from all over the country can join in online and talk about their experience and what way they can help each other and so on. So, I think that's something, uh, you know, what yeah. uh, you are talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. So, you get to know. Who are the others practicing that? That, that is an important. And creating a more yeah. pervasive, uh, I think marketing the practice so that it becomes a, a thing that people are willing to adopt. Then I think you will create demand for the NPTEL right. course also in, right. a, in a vicarious sort of way. right? right? So Just for last That's question, I would like to ask Dr. Koshi. You know, we talked about the dichotomy between this critical, uh, traditional critical path method and the lean methods. But even in lean, the work structuring we do in the beginning, we need to get the sequencing and all done by CPM methods to start with. And then again, you know, we need to touch uh, base between the milestone schedules and the look ahead plannings from time to time to make sure that we don't, uh, you know, violate any milestones. Right. So we are not throwing out the CPM completely overboard. No, no, I, yeah. So, so, so the people should realize that there is some, you know, uh, touch points. No, so, so I totally agree with you. We are not throwing out the CPM. So in some ways, the way I look at it is the CPM is your project management framework. And your LPS is your process management framework. So in LPS, what you're doing is managing your production system. And construction, I mean, people say is only a project system. But at the operational level, construction is a production system. So in concept, what we're doing with LPS, so both these systems have to blend together. And if you try to bring in your project management systems to manage your production management, there is a conflict. There is, I mean, a lot of sites do it. Uh, but there is a tremendous amount of effort to be able to try to do process management through project management systems. So you have to blend both. The cultures of both have to blend. And that is really the challenge. And I think like people like Mohan Babu have shown that there's a way forward in this. It's been proven that there's a way forward. Others will have to take the lead and find their way forward on this. Very good. Well said. I think we need to publicize more success stories. They got more case studies. I think that will definitely be able to help, you know, to create more lean champions in project sites. If I can add to what Professor Koshi said, uh, we are working with one uh, organization called uh, Carle Infra, which is a real estate developer. They have sort of adopted uh, EV earned value management system, which is your ANSI 748 at the top as, as, a, as a project management framework, if you will. <clears throat> um, and then they've figured out a nice way to kind of blend the lean terminology, the lean process into it, right? So again, I, if I were to state from experience a little more generally, milestone planning, people understand. Monthly planning, weekly planning, also people understand. That middle layer, which constraint log, I know Von Mabu said it a few times, which or what we call as the make ready process, is where I think the some of the real magic of understanding that process versus production versus the alignment that is there. Getting people to understand the make ready process we find is a little bit where people have to unlearn and relearn, if you will, right? Um, but, but so the top and the bottom is easy. The middle part is tough. And if you get the middle part, that's where you can blend that project and process, process. that we're talking about here, right? So I find Corley's right. Make it happen. You know, yeah, yeah. Make it happen, yeah. actually. Otherwise, but, you can't That's the production. That's, that's the production. production the, but the point is people are not, it, that's the light right, bulb that right, needs right, to go up. When right. that goes off, right. you will see uh, sparks. <laughs> Eureka moment. <laughs> yes. I think. So I think we had a very good panel discussion. Yeah. Very interesting to see how, you know, what exactly is CPS as practice insights. What were the enablers? What are we you know, holding it back? And what needs to be done in the long run? 
so thank you all for the excellent discussion and uh, really hope that you know this paves the way for more and more practice of cps in the various project sites thank you yep, thank, thank you. you thank you thank you professor raghavan thanks. thank you for this opportunity and look forward to seeing more lean absolutely yeah. thank you mr bond babu thank you for sparing your time thank you bye yeah. bye. bye bye hello now we have come to the end of session 12 a very important session on uh, cps we had uh, several case studies and a panel discussion between an industry expert uh, industry experts and academic experts so the first part we looked at the applications of cps through various case studies it's always good to know what people had done on the site and what benefits they had what are the problems they had and how they were solved and so on then we looked at specifically the barriers for implementation and what were the enablers for implementation that we saw through a panel discussion uh, we had uh, two people from the industry and two people from the academic side a very interesting discussion hope uh, you will uh, get a lot of benefits from that panel discussion and of course the supplementary module from which you can learn more about cps so this covers the whole lot about cps and now you should really get cracking and start practicing cps all the best thank you